Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Final Fantasy XII and we're going to once again be taking a break from the main story narrative as we undertake more optional content and today that's going to include taking on our next couple of rare fiends for the Hunt Club lengthy side quest that we're currently doing. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. If you do, let me know in the comments section how you're getting on with your own playthrough and please support me by hitting the like button and let's get on with today's show, shall we? The first fiend or mob, rare mob that we're going after is a behemoth known as our Teki and it's a level 41 or 42 enemy. So we're going to have to make our way over to the Zertinan caverns just up there, which means the best thing you can do is teleport over to Jahara and then enter the Osmone Plains as you've seen me do at this point. And there's various entrances into the Zentino caverns the Zertin and Caverns, whatever they're called. But for the purposes of this particular enemy, this is the closest by far. So let's just get rid of these stupid gambits for stealing. That was from a previous video that I had these active for. In fact, a video that's not live yet. So it's a previous video from my point of view, but something you'll be seeing a little bit later on. Farming. Oh, the fun of farming items. Yeah, just wait for that. Right, so the area we're looking for is the Undershore, and I believe it's this area here just above us. So we'll make our way there now. It's probably a good idea to cast a float if you want to avoid the traps as usual, but can't really be bothered, quite frankly. Reverse, that's pretty mean, isn't it? Maybe we should cast float. Right, oh, okay, so here we go. So what we need to do, just slow things down a touch, in this particular area, is kill 12 of these Malikunts. And if we do that, we should be able to spawn the boss. Now we might have to make our way back out and back in to do so. Unlike the one that we had to kill 12 enemies in the Palomino Rift, we didn't have to exit that area to get him to spawn, but I think we do with this one for Alteke, the behemoth. On second thoughts, no, I was mistaken. I didn't have to re-exit or re-enter this area. The guy just spawned willy-nilly, which means that we could just go ahead and kill it straight away. I'm just going to see if there's anything to steal, because often there is on these rare foes, and since they die completely, we do want to make sure we don't miss out on anything since they don't respawn is what I'm trying to tell you. There are other rare mobs in this game that do respawn. There's 80 rare mobs in total, but the 30 of those that are part of this quest do not respawn once they're killed. So Behemoth Stake is what you're going to get from this guy, if you can get a successful steal that is. Speed things up a touch. It's useful having two thieves. I mean, having four would be ideal, but I've only got two thief cuffs, so... Right, got the behemoth stake. Not that exciting. But we'll go ahead and disable steals now, and let's get on to killing this guy. And I don't expect him to be too much of a challenge, seeing as how he's only level 41 or 42. And he only has 50 odd thousand health. In fact, I reckon most of my characters could probably solo this guy without too much trouble. <laughs> And there he goes. Alteki is defeated. And we get the fail trophy for our trouble for that one. So we just need to exit, go out the same way we came, which is the southern entrance, and go back to Teleport Stone in Jahara. Okay, the second enemy that we're going for, which is the Kaiser Wolf, is a little bit trickier to spawn. And we're going to have to do this by... Um, spawning another rare mob first because it only spawns once you've killed a rare mob known as the Lindbergh Wolf. So we need to make our way over into the Wester Sand and it's best to do this from the Rabanasta area. So we'll just head over to the West Gate using the Moogle fast travel system here. And what we need to do to get the first rare to spawn, which isn't the rare that's part of the quest, but as I say, the rare that we need to kill to get the rare that's part of the quest to spawn. 
is in the western sand here. Start killing wolves. We need to kill 20 of them. So just go around the areas here. And find as many wolves as you can. Doesn't matter if you break your chain by hitting something else. The chain doesn't matter as long as in total you kill 20 wolves uh, in the west ascend. I've actually lost track of how many we've done here. About five or six, I think. I wasn't actually counting. I probably should have been. Uh, to see if there's any more around in this particular area. Doesn't look like it, so we'll just move across. So we are going to break our chain, but any more wolves? Yep, plenty. Lots of wolf pelts as well, isn't there? Okay. More wolves, lovely. And once you've killed 20 wolves, you want to head down into this little area here. I'll show you on the map. So that's the exit from, or the entrance from Ravanasta. And just down the southwest, you can find this entrance to the next area. And this is where there'll be a few more wolves in here as well. But you can also find the rare mob. And it's just over here. Look, this is the first rare mob. Lind Blum, I think its name is. You can also, I believe, steal a Gladius from it. If you wish to do so, that is. And this is an easy one, don't worry. And now you have a 40% chance of finding the actual rare that you need in the area up here. I'll show you where that is. So you might have to exit and re-enter the area in order to get this guy to spawn. Let's just speed things up again. So it's the Kaiser Wolf that we're after. We head into the northern section called the Shimmering... Oh no, the Corridor of Sand, this one. I'll show you that, the Corridor of Sand. is the name of the area. Then make our way around here. And it tends to spawn right on the eastern part of this section. So again, 40% chance of seeing it. It looks like it might have. There's a nice big wolf over there anyway, with protect on it. So as always, I recommend that you steal, if you can. So we'll go ahead and set some stealing gambits up on Varn here. Turn our other gambits off. So this guy is basically level 41 or 42 with around 19,000 health. So it's not going to last too long. And there we go. I've just gone ahead and stole the drop of throat wolf blood. How lovely. Turn all the gambits back on and we'll finish them off very, very quickly. Even with Varn stealing nothing. And for that, we get the Fang Trophy. And we have another mark crossed off our list. So, folks, I hope this episode has been somewhat helpful to you. If it has, let me know in the comments section. I haven't been over here yet, so I thought we'd have a gander across. But do come back. Oh, we can't go any further, that's why. Uh, do come back and join me next time. We're going to continue on with... Uh, probably some more hunts, but also I'm going to show you how to farm for some magnificent items. So I've already got some episodes recorded in the way of that. I'm just not sure when they're getting uploaded yet. Uh, but I hope you've been enjoying this series. It's been a lot of fun to make so far. And I know we've still got a lot more to go, so a lot more to do. Uh, but thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll see you soon for more Zodiac Age.